free no. to be a Christian right. outside of the four walls of school. Mm -hmm. But inside <clears throat> the four walls of school, you can be an activist pimp, you mm -hmm. can be a groomer, you can bring in pornography, mm -hmm. you can gender bend the kids, mm -hmm. and that's accepted yep. because that's the official narrative in all caps. Yes. But as a Christian, mm -hmm be in the four walls of a school, you have to abide by that. Mm -hmm. And then outside of the four walls, you're not allowed to be a Christian because they're gonna find your social media and go for the that witch hunt crazy. and take you down. Yeah. That's where we're at. And this is highly, <clears throat> highly concerning. Yes, it is. And then why don't we go get into what happened after that meeting? Yeah. Yes, so um, after that first meeting where I was presented with those various allegations and I responded to all of them, I was my, um, my administrative leave continued and I was just waiting, just waiting to hear. Um, and they called me back in for another meeting. And at this meeting, they told me that I was lucky to still have my job, that I, mm -hmm. I, was, I was just barely being allowed to come back because oh. what I had done was that serious oh. and that mm -hmm. bad and they were that disappointed in me. And from your understanding, not to interrupt, but from your understanding, what was your crime? Posting my views and beliefs on my social media. I don't That's know. That's outrageous. That's scary. Mm -hmm. That's really scary. So at that second meeting, um, they let me know that I didn't lose my job yet, which I was grateful for, but then they presented me with directives. And I knew instantly in my gut when presented with those, there's a, a turning is happening. I mm -hmm. and what were some, those? something's happening, and I just I just felt it in my soul and my spirit. And so um, the first directives directive was that I have to refer to students by their preferred gender or pronoun. Mm -hmm. I have to. Mm -hmm. And then the next one was that. Um, I could not share this information if a student came to me with, you know, a, a new preferred um, gender or name or pronoun. I had to keep that information from parents. And I looked these district personnel in the eyes and I said, are you asking me to lie to parents? And they said yes. <gasps> wow. Okay, sorry for the dramatic. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah. I can't. So again, so how does that, how does that oh play gosh. out at um, parent-teacher conferences? That's what I, that's oh, the wow. first thing I was wondering. Um, I, I personally don't, at the high school level, um, parent-teacher conferences are not really a mm -hmm. thing unless right, it's yeah. like specifically mm -hmm. set up because a student okay. is struggling. Um, mm -hmm. Those are like very common and set in <laughs> elementary. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like at that yeah. point, the it's have almost been cut like. Out, yeah. And now yeah. we can You're no do many The good teachers yeah. are cut out. Yeah. Yeah. Remind me, how long have you been teaching? Um, this happened at the end of my no, sixth year. Okay, six years you've been yes. teaching. Yes. When did this come in with the mandate to use pronouns and refer to oh, yeah. a kid by whatever it is they Freeze, want? Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. That's a good question yeah. because that's really where I almost felt blindsided. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is like, whoa, are you, you're presenting me with these directives. I'm sure I've been under them mm -hmm. all this time, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that. And so I, don't three think, years ago, I don't think many other teachers know that's this That's what either. I want to know wow. is like, so three years ago, this wasn't like this, I don't remember this being a thing. And we right. were clearly mm -hmm. all caught up in yeah. like COVID. COVID mania. the right. COVID mania. Right. And we were doing yeah, online like Probably this when school. they slipped it in. Okay, yeah. so that's what I'm yes. curious is like, mm -hmm. when did this yes. come in where? During COVID. It's a great question. Okay. Because so it feels like it has been just turned, turned up. up overnight. And mm -hmm. I think everybody listening yeah. would agree to that where it's like, wh where, what's happening? You know, right. we finally, we're back in school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ha we no yes. longer have like all of our liberties being stripped from us that we can see right in our face. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now usher in the next thing. Uh -huh. Okay, is this specific to California only, or is this happening all around the no. country? That's what this is happening all around. Yeah, in California, mm -hmm. we have um, boys who are going into girls' locker rooms and girls' bathrooms, and mm -hmm. it's the new virtue, very mm -hmm. progressive, mm -hmm. and totally mm -hmm. okay. And if you say it's not okay, you're a bigot. Mm -hmm. um, did they give you directives specific yeah. to that? 
to allowing to yes. allowing based, based on your bathroom. gender identity mm-hmm. yes. being able to use the bathroom or locker room of your choice yes good question so they actually didn't come out directly and give that directive um, I actually brought it up because mm-hmm. um, at the end of my third meeting with them and that third meeting was a uh, religious accommodation meeting after I had vocalized to my district I'm ready to come back to work mm-hmm. and do my job and do the best for my students as I have my six years of teaching, but I need you to know these are the directives you've given me and I cannot comply with. Um, And Mm -hmm. I I vocalized that to them and they said, okay, thank you for sharing. We've set up a religious accommodation meeting to see if and how we can accommodate your religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. So in that meeting, um, their attorney questioned me up and down, left and right on what I believe. Um, where oh I go to gosh. church, how this often is the I go to church. Attorney? Yes. Wow. wow. And um, why I believe what I do, why my beliefs aren't allowing me to comply with the directives they're giving me, and um, you know, really did my best to to break it down and explain to them. Mm-hmm. And um, at the end of that meeting, they said um, one last thing: is there is there anything else? that we need to know about that you cannot do in your position as a, as a teacher. Mm. And I said, yeah, I'm in a unique position because I'm a PE teacher. I oversee mm-hmm. a locker room. Okay. Wow. I said, I want to let you know right now, mm-hmm. I will not be letting biological males into the female locker room. Thank and yes. they <laughs> said, we have a whole other issue then because that's discrimination. You have to. Unbelievable. Oh. Unbelievable. So that was just like, the absolute affirmation, um, I, I was not going to comply. I guess I was going to be let go of if that's what they were going to choose to do. And um, What is so mind-boggling to me is that we're literally talking about biological men. Like, uh, uh, where, where did this do we go, go so completely 10 wrong? Ten years yeah. ago, that we're we are talking about the most basic truth basic. that there are basic men, truth. common, and there are common women. Sense. There are boys, yeah. and yep. there are girls. Yes. And like you know, what struck me is that you are sitting there having to defend your religious beliefs. Like, yes. right. where are they having to defend that like men can suddenly yeah. be women? Yeah. Exactly. Like, why aren't they brought into rooms yes. and said like, okay, you mm-hmm. want right. to teach that little boys can become girls? Like, right. we're gonna put you in the hot seat, and yes. you're gonna have to defend it. Like, yes. give me the biology that takes place for yes. a chromosome to transition. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. how how is it that you can be grilled for the mm-hmm. basic truth yeah. of mm-hmm. this is what I believe, but they can go ahead and preach that boys are girls if they feel like it, yeah. maybe they, it goes back and forth right. and they're not grilled and they get to teach that yep. and then you have to play by those games and mm-hmm. you, otherwise you're a bigot and you're discriminating. I yeah. mean, this is insane and I'm canceled. that we and you're, I'm you're canceled. canceled. Yeah. You're yeah. put in place. Hey, to take it as a badge kids. of honor, baby. Yeah. I'm canceled too. Yeah. <laughs> We're all canceled. Yeah. Welcome to the cancel club. <laughs> I am a woman. I am a teacher. I was fired for my religious beliefs. I am fighting so that no other teachers are discriminated against and so that children are protected. This is my battle cry.